Good morning everyone, this is Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 9th of uh, June. The UK election ended with an upset as uh, Theresa May and the Conservatives failed to secure a majority in the House of Commons. The UK is now faced with a hung uh, parliament, meaning that even though the Tories are still uh, the largest uh, party, they have to either rule with a minority or form a coalition with another party to be able to gather efficiently. The pound plunged on the news as this implies, in this implies increased instability within uh, parliament and uh, likely makes uh, the Brexit uh, negotiating process much more difficult, at least uh, for the UK. GBP JPY collapsed as soon as the first exit poll showed that uh, the Conservatives were unlikely to gain majority. The pair fell below the support, now turned into resistance of 141.90 and managed to dip below Wednesday's low of 140.70. The tumble was stopped at 139.60 and then the rate rebounded uh, somewhat. The price structure on the, on the four hour chart still suggests a short term downtrend while the election dip uh, confirmed a forthcoming lower low. We think that uh, the pound could remain under pressure in coming days, at least until there is a clear plan about what happens uh, next. We expect the bears to take uh, the reins again soon and aim for another test near 139.60. A dip below that level could, could aim for our next support of 138.90. Moving forward, we expect the pound's uh, forthcoming direction to be dictated by how the election outcome will impact uh, the Brexit process and whether this increases uh, the likelihood for a softer uh, negotiating approach. Signs that uh, the divorce may end up uh, softer than what uh, was anticipated up to now could lead to a notable rebound in, uh, in uh, the pound, we think. The questions in our mind are, uh, will Theresa May resign? If she does, will the new conservative uh, leader will the new conservative uh, leader have a different and potentially softer view on uh, Brexit? What if uh, the Labour Party manages to establish a coalition of uh, many parties and challenge the Tories? We expect the answers uh, to these uh, questions to play a critical role in how Sterling behaves in the following days. Now, back to Eurozone. Yesterday, the ECB kept its uh, policy unchanged. The most uh, striking uh, change in the accompanying statement was uh, the removal of the easing bias so that uh, rates can be lowered further. Policymakers now expect raise, rates uh, to remain at uh, current levels uh, moving forward. Draghi's press conference was eventful as well. Uh, the euro dipped initially after he announced uh, that uh, even though the bank up upgraded its uh, GDP forecasts until 2019, the inflation forecasts uh, for the same period had been revised lower. These downgrades uh, likely put uh, co cold, wat cold water on expectations that QE tapering may be on the horizon. With inflation expected at 1.3% year over year in 2018, there is no rush for the ECB to consider scaling back its uh, asset purchases. The common currency rebounded a few minutes later after Draghi said uh, that uh, the bank removed its easing bias on rates, mainly because uh, the risk of uh, deflation has disappeared. The key takeaway we got uh, from this meeting is that uh, the ECB is becoming more confident that inflation will eventually converge uh, to its uh, target, but it is still premature to discuss uh, QE tapering at this stage. As for the euro, even though it may underperform uh, for a bit uh, more, we remain optimistic on its uh, broader path. The ECB is uh, slowly but surely shifting towards a more sanguine tone, implying it could remove further dovish aspects uh, from its uh, guidance in coming meetings if economic data continue to evolve as uh, or better than uh, projected. Euro dollar traded lower as uh, the ECB was not as optimistic as the market may have expected heading into the gathering. The pair is uh, currently trading between the 111.60 support and the resistance of 112.40 while it still trades above the uptrend line taken from the low of the 17th of April. This keeps the outlook uh, positive and as such we would treat yesterday's slide as a corrective setback. We expect the bulls to take uh, charge again soon and perhaps aim for the 113 uh, territory. A break above that level would confirm a forthcoming higher high and is likely to pave the way for our next resistance of uh, 113.70. Now as for today, during the European day we get uh, the UK industrial production and trade data both uh, for, for April. 
In Canada, the unemployment rate uh, is expected to have ticked up in May, following a notable drop in uh, April, while the rent change in employment is expected to have risen. We see the risks uh, surrounding the unemployment rate forecast as uh, skewed to the downside, considering that the market manufacturing PMI for the month reported one of the strongest uh, rates of uh, job creation in five and a half years. A positive surprise could bring the Canadian dollar under uh, renewed buying interest. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Hara Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.